Endeavor Houston, Energy, Ground Track, and Nav are go. Take tack hands, and I got a new altimeter of 30.08. Roger, 30.08, Delta Charlie, Delta Charlie, and taking tack hands. And with that exchange of calls, uh, confirming that uh, ground tracking is uh, uh, converging and tracking very well with the onboard guidance. Uh, we also have our first uh, long-range view of the uh, orbiter uh, from an infrared camera. Endeavor uh, at an altitude of 132,000 feet, and the range to the Cape is now 200 nautical miles. Ground-based and uh, onboard navigation and guidance are uh, comparing very nicely. Endeavor at uh, 120,000 feet altitude and 168 miles from the Cape. And as Endeavour crosses the west coast of the Florida Peninsula, the vehicle begins uh, a bank reversal from right to left, maintaining its heading uh, for the landing site, coming in uh, toward uh, runway 33 with a right overhead turn as they intercept the heading alignment circle. Now passing through 100,000 feet, uh, Mach 4, four times the speed of sound. And range about uh, 100 miles from the Cape. Houston, take air data. Endeavour now processing uh, air data from the uh, uh, true air data sensing probes in the nose of the orbiter. Uh, that will add uh, further confidence and uh, updates to the onboard uh, guidance and navigation system. And Endeavour now passing over Orlando at an altitude of 91,000 feet. Velocity uh, Mach 2.8. Endeavour now at Mach 2, a velocity of about 1,400 miles an hour. Altitude 77,000 uh, feet. And we're about uh, 50 miles now uh, out from the landing site.
Deborah Houston, we show you on energy approaching the hack. No change to the weather. Surface winds are 330 at 6, peak 7. And you got to go for nominal drag chute deploy. Roger, Houston, copy nominal drag chute deploy. And Endeavour should uh, shortly be going uh, subsonic, uh, announcing its arrival with twin sonic booms as it passes over Titusville. We're at an altitude now of uh, about uh, 60,000 feet. And we show that uh, Commander Covey has taken control of the vehicle with the uh, stick and is uh, flying the vehicle manually, getting the feel and uh, getting set up uh, for the uh, final approach and landing. Uh, sink rate is still uh, relatively high, uh, 270 feet per second. Uh, velocity um, uh, now uh, 900 feet per second, and the altitude is uh, 40,000 feet. Covey now uh, intercepting the heading alignment circle with a uh, sweeping overhead right turn of about 243 degrees before coming out on the final approach for uh, runway 33, uh, heading south to north. Endeavour, on energy at the 180. On energy at the 180. Roger. Endeavour on energy at the 90. Roger. Altitude uh, 18,000 feet. And uh, sink rate uh, 200 feet per second. And we're about eight miles uh, from the uh, runway threshold at this point. Good views uh, continuing to come in from the uh, infrared cameras. And the orbiter now getting its final updates from ground systems, the microwave landing system, and uh, that is also converging nicely and comparing nicely with the uh, orbiter onboard system. Endeavour on glide slope, on center line, surface winds 330 at 6. Altitude now passing through 5,000 feet. Endeavour now beginning to uh, flatten its steep glide slope, uh, coming in for a uh, final approach and landing. Gear down and lock. Uh, 
touchdown. final stop on runway 3-3 with a nice uh, drag chute streaming out behind. Houston, we're back. 